Hi guys, this is Usama with another tutorial of Podsify. In this video, we are going to see how we can build a simple weather board without any coding knowledge. And the only coding we require is to write the weather API with respect to the response Podsify expect. So I'm currently in Podsify dashboard under basic messages. I have already configured this first message, uh, which is greeting message. And I'm going to create a new story right now. So we want is user give his location and we store it in our database. So our chatbot knows where the user belongs to and he doesn't ask him again and again about the user's location. So upon user's query, like what do you do? Upon all these queries, I will ask users about his location. Upon these queries, my chatbot will introduce itself and then it will ask about user's location and the responses will be randomized between these three. Since we are willing to store user's location in our database, so we are going to use entities manage because we want to extract user's location from user's sentence. And if I type W, I will see with.ai provides us with a number of options. So currently with location feels more appropriate. I will choose it. And in value, I'll tap New York again. I will open this one because we are storing this location as a user attribute and we are willing to keep it as a value which we will use more frequently. So I have stored it, and now my chatbot is going to call an API, weather API, and respond to user with the weather report based on the location he has given us. I have already written this API and uh, I will paste this API link here and use with location or with user location. So both are fine at this point. So I know my dynamic variable go at this point. So it will call weather slash New York dot JSON or weather slash Los Angeles dot JSON. Since this is a get API, I don't have to change this one. I don't have to add any header parameters and that's all I have to do. I'll save this story. And now I want when someone taps the get started button in my messenger, this story should appear. So I'll go back in message basic messages and I'll choose this option of initiate a story. I'll choose my only story from this drop down and save it. Now if I go back in my Facebook Messenger, I Tape this button so now the chatbot says hi I'm Janet I help you find weather for the for your location and it asked me for my location I'll give my location as Los Angeles so remember we configured the story only for New York and I have given Los Angeles but it is still recognized Los Angeles because we used with location as our entity extractor and it extract almost every location so what I'm going to do now is to have some way here to give user option to 
find weather for any other location as well so I'll create a template from the template designer I'll choose button template yes and upon yes it initiates a story and the story is going to be the same which we just created because if he is willing to find weather for any other location as well we can execute and use the same story and if he is not willing to find the location we're going to say okay just in case you need me I am always here so now I have two buttons in my button template and I'll name this as reweather or whatever I'll save and exit I again go back in my story and I will add this template at the bottom I'll save this story back in the messenger I will delete my conversation so I can see the get started button again if I tap this one I will say now San Francisco and it gives me weather of San Francisco and asks me if I want to find the weather of any other location I'll just type yes and it asks me for any other location again I type New York and it gives me the weather of New York so you see how quickly we have built a weather chatbot with minimum coding and and we have only used these two options in Potsify and we can do a lot more if we use other options and exploit the machine learning as well so for now that is it but we'll back with other videos and we will teach you how you can build awesome chatbots with Parsify using the machine learning and AI intelligence. Thanks for watching.